What's up, YouTube? It's not much going on in the garden today. Um, I was out this morning trying to find some female watermelon blooms to hand pollinate, but I couldn't find too many. So I was just taking care of some tasks around the garden that I needed done, such as uh, I saw this pineapple pup. Um, you can see this one doesn't have the blades on it, um, the serrated edges. Let's see. This is a white jade pineapple plant. Um, I bought a pineapple, I bought a larger plant from the store. And it, uh, this one is also spineless. I brought it from the, I bought it from the store, a larger one, and then started putting out a pup. So I said, I'm gonna remove that pup and put it in his own container. Um, you can see right here, pineapple plants normally have these serrated edges. Uh, if you were to rub your, yeah, thumb or finger across there you'll feel it but uh those serrated edges as the plant gets gets larger the uh, serrated edges also get larger and they can cut you once the plant eventually reaches a certain size um that's the elite gold variety that i just showed that has the serrated edges and as i said this right here is white jade uh white jade doesn't have any serrated edges it's, it's a smooth leaf variety um and this is the mother plant and you can see that it's Noah. So when you're walking through a, a field of white jade pineapples, or if you're walking through a row of white jade pineapples and you actually accidentally bump a couple of leaves, a couple of these leaves, you won't have to worry about them cutting you up like that elite gold would. Um, so I, I, uh, the pup was literally right under this leaf right here. Um, and I just pulled it right up. It has a small little root on there. It's good enough for me to plant. I'm just gonna pop it into this little grow bag that I have uh, with some scarlet strawberries in it. Um, I got the scarlet strawberry variety from Baker Creek or rareseeds.com. All right, so I'm gonna just make a little spot in the middle. Uh, scarlet strawberry is an alpine type of strawberry. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, well, it's not an alpine strawberry, but it's an alpine type. And, um, it, it loves it loves a lot of shade so they do well in shade so I'm trying to just get a little get a few plants in um, of different of different species like how I'm putting this pineapple plant in the middle and I might put a couple of something else on the outsides just to help give this little uh, scarlet bit some shade I lost a few plants because I was weeding yesterday and I should have watered right after I finished weeding um the big the bags looked they like they looked like that so i have a 30 gallon bag and it, it, the grass isn't too bad honestly but once i pull that grass and that sun starts shining it uh kills off my scarlet plants now you can see some uh, leaves in there and i weeded i weeded uh these bags right here and i accidentally reduced my numbers all right so now i know to uh water after i weed all right so this is white jade. I'm just getting this nice and tucked in there. You don't have to uh, do too much when it comes to planting the pineapple. They really grow themselves. Just get them anchored in that, into that soil enough that it won't be uh, that it won't fall over from the wind or just be knocked over so easily. Now that's planted. It's a beautiful white jade. Um, it's gonna produce a white fleshed pineapple. That's uh, ultra sweet, as they say. So this is scarlet. Wait for those to produce some more berries. Oh yeah, yesterday I planted some sisu spinach. Uh, or Brazilian spinach. I planted this yesterday. Then I, uh, I used some of the grass that I weeded to, to mulch that. Now this whole thing looked like this. <laughs> so the whole bed actually looked like this. Until I started clearing that grass out. I might do some more today. I might finish it today. And get it back to how it look, how it's supposed to look. And then over here I have more scarlets. Now you can see this is this area is getting a little more shade in that morning sun. Um from that morning sun. And so the plants are a little bit bigger. But nonetheless, I lost a couple scarlet plants due to that weeding process. Um, and what well, due to me not watering after weeding, but you can see they look good though. 
But I noticed the more the more shade, the uh, bigger the foliage. So yeah, it's white jade. Let's go look at some more pineapple plants that I have. Uh, I purchased some uh, pineapple varieties online. Uh, another one called Sugarloaf Pineapple. So you can order this. Uh, it's a super delicious pineapple. You can see I have this one planted with some strawberries. The weeds look uh, worse than what they actually are. Um, so this is Benny Zuru strawberry plants. And I have them all around this little section here. But this is the sugarloaf pineapple. And this also produces a white pineapple. And it has a smooth leaf. So I had I tasted a sugar loaf. Now I can definitely say this one is ultra sweet for sure. Um I think the bricks reading the bricks reading was like like eight between eighteen to twenty uh three percent. Um so the pineapple itself had about eighteen to twenty three percent sugar in it. Which is super sweet. That's Benizuru. Benizuru. So they're all around here. It produces runners. Um, I have a lot of the sugar loaves. I ordered it online from, um, I can't remember the name. You, you just have to type in sugar loaf pineapple on Google. And I got some more sugar loaf plants. Let me go check them out. You just have to type in sugar loaf pineapple on Google and it'll come in the website will come up. Uh, oh yeah, the, the website is called Kawe Sugar Loaf Pineapple. It's a uh, Hawaiian website, and the uh, pineapples come from Hawaii. So these are more sugarloaf plants right here. These are some more recently planted ones. Watermelon vines is trailing all over. <laughs> all right, so this is two sugarloaf plants, and then inside the bed I have uh, various more. So I have some much larger, and these are my older ones, my older plants. You can see the, uh, they're not too old though. All the plants are from this year. Um, I bought, I, you, you basically buy the pineapple and then you plant the pineapple top. Now this is a recently planted one, that's why that's so small. Uh, I planted like four of them uh, recently. Um, so you can see these are smaller, but you can see these tall leaves. Those are some of my oldest ones. This is a, uh, this variety here. I think this might be Florida special because it had on the, ed on the edge of the leaf, it has, it has a slight serration, but it's not much. So I think that one's a uh, Florida special because Florida special is another variety I have. Um, I got that one from a nursery and that's why these plants are so much larger. It's tropical in here, huh? <laughs> I have, um, well, yeah, over here. If y'all, if y'all have ever seen a YouTube um, channel, uh, Rob the Garden, Rob the Garden Guy, or something like that. Something, something like that. But he grows pineapples. I bought some uh, pineapple plants from him. Let's see if we can access those. Yeah, so they're still small. He pulled a bunch of pineapple slips for me. So basically what I what y'all just witnessed me transplant was a pineapple slip. And that's what uh when they come from the when they come from the soil it's a slip. And when it comes from the uh plant uh in up in the air, it's a uh sucker. And then when it comes from the crown of the pineapple, it's a crown. So you got three different sections that you could pull the plants from. Um, these are uh, slips and suckers, most likely that Rob sent me. They were still small, but they're growing now. Here's the larger, here's the larger one. But in my other garden, I, uh, so I got about 50 from them, and they, these are supposed to produce white pineapples that are super sweet. So I have the, uh, so that's the Hilo white, and um, supposedly it may be the same as Sugarloaf, but I'm not sure. Um, this is sugar loaf right here, but I, I can see that the leaf, the leaf color definitely isn't the same at the moment. So it's a plus. So uh, I have sugar loaf, Hilo white, 
and uh, white jade, and all those make three white pine, uh, three types of white pineapples. Then I had Florida Special, Florida Special right here. And then I have uh, Elite Gold. It has a very serrated edge on it. And then in my other garden, I have a bunch of Hilo Whites. I have a bunch of Hilo Whites from Rob over there. And then I have, I can't remember. I know I had some good stuff. Oh yeah, I have Maui Gold. Um, I ordered that one from Hawaii also. It's a yellow flesh, low acid. Um, the white, the special thing about the white pineapples, they don't, they don't have much acid in them at all. They just, <laughs> they're just super sweet, basically. Uh, yellow pineapple, that it, the ones that I get from the store, they typically, uh, my mouth, will, my mouth will be bleeding after I'm, I'm done eating one. Um, with these white pineapples, I can keep eating them with no, uh, with no type of bleeding. So I believe that they have a lower level of bromelain or acid in them. All right. I'm gonna end this video right here. This is GSMO 230. Um, starting to vine out again. The vines had died out, but it, it shot back out another liter. And um, it's the vets, uh, forming female bloom. So I'm expecting more GSMO 230 watermelons. But I'm gonna end the video right here, y'all. I just wanted to do a little quick update what I have going on. Here's I eat pineapple. It's about three feet across, about four feet across. There we go. A lot of weeds in there, but it's about four feet across for sure. Um, stretching from right here. That's a weed. Stretching from right here all the way to right here. That's a nice size plant. I pick peppers from it every day. Uh, probably picked about 10 from it yesterday and I eat them fresh. I cook with them. All right, y'all.